100 years ago, Canada's burgeoning labour movement gained prominence as workers staged protests and general strikes, demanding better wages, working conditions, and recognition of their unions. Provincial employees from British Columbia gathered in Vancouver for the first convention of a new association, the predecessor of our union. On their own time, these workers signed up 980 of BC's 1,200 employees as members. Provincial employees earned lower wages than private sector workers. They also faced unfair hiring practices in the form of patronage appointments by the presiding government. Our association's initial demands included a joint civil service commission with employee representation, abolition of patronage appointments, changes to unfair promotional policies, and for women, equal pay for equal work. The meeting attracted negative attention from Premier John Oliver. Like most of his contemporaries, Oliver believed that bargaining working conditions with employees undermined his government's power to set policy. A similar paternalistic view prevailed for decades, and the BC Government Employees Association grew, diminished, and almost died out altogether. Following the Second World War, membership numbers swelled as the economy boomed and governments invested heavily in public services and infrastructure. Our association became the second largest body of organized workers in British Columbia. But unlike other unions, we were still forbidden from collective bargaining with our employer. Tension over this issue came to a head when Premier W.A.C. Bennett broke his promise to increase wages and introduce a 40-hour work week. Members voted to take more drastic action, to go on strike for the first time ever. On March 13, 1959, government services across the province were totally shut down. 12,500 workers walked picket lines despite threats and intimidation from management. The experience deeply affected those who would go on to become leaders in our union. Bennett's government reacted swiftly with a court order preventing picketing outside provincial offices. After only four hours, members took down their pickets. We had made our point. Our demonstration of solidarity and strength in numbers laid the groundwork for our union as we know it today, one that works collectively to improve the lives of our members and all working people.